Well, here's some ideas about how you might go about constructing your own Schrader reverberator based on some existing all-pass filters and comb filters and so on. What I have on this front panel is the Schrader reverberator parameters themselves as well as things like the amount of time to extend the input signal. That's that zero pad time. I'm picking up my input signal from this sub VI which is available or which I've provided to you. It's called Wave Read and that generates uh, distinct 1D arrays for the left and right channel and also tells you the sampling interval. That structure is, as I say, for applying some zeros to the end of the wave wave file. That way you can allow the reverb to extend beyond the length of the wave file itself. All right, let's see what else we have in here. You can do a mixture of the original signal and the reverb signal, and that way you can control whether or not it sounds like the speaker is closer to you or farther away. So these are multiplied by a factor that ranges between 0 and 1, and then those two signals are added together to produce the finished output. I can then vary percent re reverb to pick either all the original signal or all reverb. Quick scale is important since the uh, addition of all the comb filter signals might give you occasionally some values that are greater than one. Now I've chosen to implement the coefficients as a separate math script, uh, math script node inside each of those sub VIs and then I take the coefficients and pass those into the IIR filters. Here's one that's interesting. Here's how I implemented the summing junction for the parallel comb filters. Perhaps you've not encountered that device before, but that's a... I'll, I'll show that to you in a little bit where to find that, that particular built-in node. Now the math script node accepts parameters such as loop time and reverb time and ultimately generates the filter coefficients that we need. And it also reports the calculated delay line length and gain factor, in case you want to look at those. Comb filter is essentially the same structure, just a little bit different way of calculating the coefficients for the A and, and B vectors. All right, as I mentioned, I wanted to show you where to find that one. So that's called the Compound Arithmetic Node. And it's a quite versatile device. You can expose as many or as little input terminals as you might need, and then you can pick which operation you want to perform. So you could use it for multiplying a lot of signals together if you like.